Welcome back, everybody, to Undead Legacy. I'm an old guy gaming, and we are picking up right where we left off. It has literally only been a couple of seconds since I left you in the last episode. We are desperately in search of a beaker. Why? Because we need a beaker to upgrade our Kim bench so that we can then once again be able to make gasoline, which we used to be able to make until I had this bright idea to upgrade to the new version of the game. I'm just kidding. I'm actually not complaining about that. I'm glad we upgraded. It's just becoming a little bit more of a challenge than I was expecting. No blowing up on my watch. Okay. Let's go take a look-see over here. Is this a lootable ambulance? It could have a beaker in it. No, but it's got some good stuff in it. We'll take it. We shall take it. All right, we, so we just, if you didn't watch the last episode, we just finished going through this remnant um, urgent care place. Well, actually, did we go through the whole thing? Obviously, we didn't go through the whole thing. All right, let's just, um, I know I could hit those blinds for, um, for plastic, but I actually don't want to spend too much time on that kind of thing. Let's just get moving. But it is worth checking uh, this stuff for sure. Ah, oh, possibility for a beaker. Nope. Okay, bummer. Did we come in here? Yeah, we've already been in here. Okay, so we just didn't go. Yeah, right. I remember getting that shelf there. We just didn't go all the way back here. Gotcha. Okay. So I think it is time to move on. So we want to keep looking for medical types of buildings, hospitals, urgent cares, popping pills, places like that. And we also want to make sure we run over Marlene every time we get the opportunity. That is a tool store. That's, I don't even know what Zelect is. What is Zelect? Is that a restaurant? Looks like a restaurant. I don't think I've even been in there. We'll have to check that out at some point, but that's probably not going to have a beaker. All right. What do we got over here? There is... That's a savage country. Okay. Now here's another poppin' pills. I'm pretty sure, though, I've already looted this place. Let's just take a quick peek just to make sure, but pretty darn sure we have. Has this been looted? It hasn't. Okay, that doesn't mean we haven't looted the inside, though. Yeah, because, see, that's looted. Down with sickness. Yeah, these shelves are empty. We've been in here. Okay, let's just get the hell out of here. Let's vamanoos. All right. Pain resistance has improved to level 41. Hot darn. Is this lootable? It is, but we've already looted. Okay. Crack a book over there. Um, think, think, think. We were going to head over to the trader to see if they have any diamonds for sale. I never bothered to look to see when those dudes reset either. Possible that they have reset, but I don't think so. Maybe they did, actually. I don't know. Excuse me, Fido. How's it going? Do you have any diamonds? Diamonds are an old guy's best friend. He sure has a lot of schematics we could buy for points, but I'm not ready to spend a bunch of money on that quite yet. Do we get some cash yet? Here, let's sell them our cash. Pleasure doing business with you. You have diamonds? You got facial piercings. That's not the same thing as diamonds, though. No. Okay. Air Take your time. Aviation engine. I think we have one of those stacked somewhere. We've already looted all the vending machines. Okay. Next stop is somewhere. Not sure where. Ooh, careful. I'll break a leg doing stuff like that. Uh, there is an ambulance over here. This is one of those open POIs. Let's get ready to snipe a doodle. Ah. 
the hell's going on there? Is it hitting the thing? Must be hitting that table that's in front of him. Why is my weapon not working? Do I have blanks in it? crawler camp man um you know what we should be doing is getting gas out of these things can't believe i'm back to scavenging gasoline you guys what the hell man <laughs> not fair we already paid our dues i'm looking to see if there's any live dead ones or dead live ones depending upon how you look at it Queen bee? Nope, no queen bee. You know what? We might as well get the wood out of this. Lots of good firewood here. Motorcycle chassis. Okay, come on, beaker. Those are our beakers. Okay, got some food, some containers. Adhesive and some scrap copper. It's just trash in there. All right, yeah, I think we're wasting our time here. Let's keep, let's get going. Let's vamanos. Okay, so let's go over to this other town that's just across the way here. And see if there's any medical types of buildings over there. And we can also check the trader over here for diamonds as well. It's a big old scorpion over there. Come on, big mama. Oh shit. <laughs> We're not messing with the bear. How are you? Well, that bear might come in here. We should probably close this. Okay. See, look, he's trying to come in here. You have diamonds, man? I'm not seeing any diamonds. Okay, when you guys reset on if day 125, so in two days from now. Okay, let's check uh, Q over here. Looking for something special? Yeah, diamonds. No diamonds. Okay. That's enough chit chat for me today. That's enough chit chat for me too. Why? What's got us so super darn heavy here? Okay. Oh, all that firewood and stuff. Okay, uh, that's a problem. <laughs> Am I hitting him? Did we just take his head off with a sledgehammer? I think we did. Wow. <laughs> okay. I'll take it. Is that one of those Leviathan Scorps, or is that just a bigger irradiated fella? I don't know. Let's not mess with him right now. Okay, so uh, we're going to come over here. Any medical buildings, pill buildings, pharmacies, Maggie's Corner Cafe, a motel, a post office. What do we got down here? Dell's Cafe, 
Looks like maybe a car garage of some sort. The bear den with the bear outside. Grumpy's Pub. Shade Tree Auto Motel 7 Crack a Book. Always the possibility for a schematic. What's that place over there? Oh, that's one of those those big tank tank POIs. All right, let's get rid of some weight here. So we're going to put that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there, that in there. Those in there. And yeah, okay. We're not too heavy. Uh, let's just run in here real quick. Come on. Come on, Bo. Oh, you're feral, Bo. Some paper. Some... Oh, that's the same side as the other side. Books. Uh, don't care about that. We shall scrap it. Let's see what's in here. Nothing there. There we go. Down more a little. Ooh, just a gnat's eyebrow down one more. For $33, make you holla. Oh, shit. He was coming in hard and fast. Time to eat. Because that's what you do after you take the head off of a zombie cop. Is you stop and eat. Because that's hard work. It makes you hungry. Um, you know what? We should probably do this. Because we do have an abrasion and we need some health anyways. Okay, let's continue on in here. Another book. Got a damn bird. Some glue. Basic loot that you're not going to spend a whole lot of time on. Um, you know what? Let's do this. Let's get... Do I have a gas can on my person? Out of here. Let's grab this. Anything else in here we want to look at? Check that out. Grab this. Got a dude outside. More books. Always a good thing. Come here, copper. Hey! Come here, charcoal. Hold still. Uh, uh, Edgar. <laughs> uh, 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 Edgar. My brain was saying, say Edgar, and my mouth was going, uh, 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 uh Edgar. Okay, uh, Butcher Pete's probably isn't going to have any beakers inside. Eh, balls. Okay. Police car. All right, let's, um... Oh, what was I going to do? I was going to get out of here. You. And let's put you down here. And let's top you off. And then what we can do when we're running across these gas cans, we can refill them. So that way, you know, at least we're doing something to keep keeping the gasoline. Did we loot this? We have already. Okay. All right, let's keep looking. I don't think... I think everything to the north of here is just houses, maybe? This is kind of like a long, narrow town. Let's just run up there real quick and take a look-see. It's not an ambulance, but... We'll take it. Pretty good loot overall. Yeah, okay. It's as I thought. These are all pretty much just houses up here. All right, let's take a look at our map. 
I've already looted that. Menu lag. Seriously? Ow. I got a twofer there. All right, let's look at the menu here, or the map. Okay, so we got a pretty decent sized town up there, and we could also go here. We could check both of those traders also for diamonds. So yeah, let's do that. Um, so we're gonna go down this road and then kind of cross over this way. I'm gonna mark that trader just so it's easier for me not to get disoriented. Is that a poppin' pills? No, it's a tool store. No beaker. Welcome. How's Welcome. it going? Okay. Those are those bees. But again, I'd rather find those in stumps, though. I haven't had much luck so far. I've probably killed 20 stumps looking for and I haven't found a single queen bee yet. Like fence post. Tech junkie. Yeah, no diamonds. Really? Yeah, really. Nothing there, and nothing there. As okay. you wish. All right. Let's keep on looking. That's all we can do. We need to find. We either need to find a beaker. We need to find a beaker schematic, or we need to find three more diamonds. Those are our needs. I guess we want to go this way. Yeehaw! The Shamway. That's some pretty nice stuff. Um, we could actually repair this. That might be fun <laughs> to repair a military truck. I know with the upgrade, though, or the update, we need... Uh... We're going to have to learn bicycle repair, then mini bike repair, then motorcycle repair, and then car repair, and then truck repair before we can even do that. But something to work towards. It's not the priority right now, though, that's for sure. Okay, let's go this direction. Just looking to see if there's anything on the horizon that might look like a medical facility. Oh shit! Ow! Actually, that didn't hurt that much. I was busy gawking at that Leviathan Scorpion. Um, alright, let's go this way. There's the drive-in. We did a... I think we did a quest there a long time ago. I think I got killed, too. Hate it when that happens. Okay. High-level scrap axe. Still not something we're interested in. Nice, we got a venom sack. Let's open this up for three dollars.
Man, I haven't really had a lot of as much luck with my counterclockwise as uh, I used to. $416, that doesn't suck. All right, let's get some gas. That doesn't have any left in it. Okay. We'll top off the motorcycle here. Uh, all right, very good. Let's continue on here. It's not an ideal place to get stuck. Shoddy Messiah. Probably not going to find a beaker in there. Dude, you are pissing me off. You too. Hey, I just killed you. All right, let's go. All right, well, I think we have exhausted this town for looking for beakers. I wouldn't mind going through that shoddy messiah, but that's going to take a long time and we're not going to find a beaker in there, very unlikely. So I think we should press on with our most pressing need. Uh, what I need to do, though, is I need to get into a safe spot so I can check the map. Okay. Oh, ambulance. All right, let's take a look at the map here. Um, oh, the next trader's just right up there, and then we we have this little town we can look at, too. Okay, we're closer than I thought we were. Have I not looted Trader Jim's place? I haven't. Okay, let's loot this place, because we might find a beaker. That's an actual working carpenter's table. Keep out. Not bad. Can we get gas out of these guys? I don't know why there's gasoline in a biohazard drum, but I'm not complaining. We need it. Can't open that door. Can we get in there from this side, or do I need to break this? I don't remember. Let's just break it. Shut up. Oh, shit. We're not messing with that guy. But, we might as well get the giblets off of him now. All right, we can't break anything. What am I thinking? We are in the trader's compound. Forget it. Let's go. Let's just go. Can we get around on this side? Yeah, looks like we can. Okay, well, then I didn't need to waste any time doing it anyway. Let's pop one of these. I'm getting tired of being over encumbered and having a gimped up leg. Uh, is there anything up here? I can't remember. I think there's something stupid like a backpack which will probably have like one piece of paper in it or something dumb like that. But let's check anyways. That way we can be thorough. Never mind. We completely wasted our time. Okay. Uh, down? No, not that way. Okay. Do you have any diamonds, Jen? Um, she's got a B2. You know what? Darn it. I'm just going to buy one. Thanks how for much, letting me take care of you. How much does it... it uh, friends. How many of these do we need to make the beehive? Oh, just one. Okay, cool. So we'll make ourselves a, a beehive when we get back. Um, can, I can, can I open this door? It's locked. You don't look so good. All right. It's not giving me the option to unlock it. What about this door? This door's unlocked. I don't think I can pick anything up, can I? Nope. Didn't think so. Only looting in the trader. Um, let's get some water. Do I have any plastic?
Excellent. Okay. No beaker. Nothing else to loot in there. And it's not a lootable medicine cabinet. All right, let's go talk to what's-his-face upstairs. Anybody need an MRI? I uh, actually had a couple MRIs back in the summertime because I was kind of messed up my back a little bit. It's better now. But it's the first time I'd actually ever had an MRI. It was an interesting experience because you're basically... It's like you're in a microwave oven, but it doesn't hurt. But you can feel, you know, what's, what it's doing is it's stirring up the molecules in your body. And you can actually, I could, I could feel it because, damn it. Because I, I could feel myself heating up, but it wasn't painful. It wasn't like I was cooking, but I could definitely feel my body getting warmer, you know. And it was just a kind of a bizarre thing. But the worst part about it is, is you have to hold still, right? And I was in there for like 45 minutes because they, they had it was a longer MRI. And, you know, not being able to move for that long kind of sucks, especially, you know, if you have to scratch your nose or something like that. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, yes. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> we found a beaker, you guys. Oh, man. That's awesome. That is fan freaking tasket. Jin comes through for us. Okay. That means we can go back home, make a, uh, or upgrade our chem bench, and then back to making gas. And then, you know, then we're, then, then we're kind of back in business. I mean, there's, we need them for other things too, but that was the biggest thing because if we would have run out of gasoline, that would have severely screwed us up a uh, big time. All right. Nice. We have found ourselves a beaker, ladies and gentlemen, all of our. Efforts have paid off. Okay, let's go down here and get some eggs. I still would like to make the, uh, you know, the uh, schematic for it at some point. So we still need to keep a lookout, you know, for diamonds and whatnot. And, you know, supposedly we get those for mining, I but I, I, again, like I said, I've done so much mining already and we, we only have two diamonds to show for it, so... And they're not something. Feeling under the weather. They're not something. The doctor ordered. Excuse me. They're not something I would sell. You know, I'd hang on to them because you need them for crafting. So, do we have any cash yet? Let's sell the cash to her. And uh, I don't think there's anything else I want to sell to her here. Let's sell her a T-shirt. There you go, Jen. You can have a T-shirt. Uh, Alrighty then. We want to scrap that. Stay safe out there. Scrap, and scrap. Get us more research data. All right. Let's get back to the base and get our chem station upgraded. And then I can breathe a little bit easier. Okay, guys, we are back at the base. Let's see what we need to upgrade this thing. So we're going to pin this. Uh, we need three more adhesive, 20 steel, and eight more pipe. Let's just grab the adhesive. We'll grab 20 steel. I gotta empty my inventory here. And I think we needed eight pipe. Oh, yeah. I think that's right. Oh, and we also need some glass. Which, where do I keep glass? Do I keep glass in here? Uh, yeah, I do. Oh, is that all we got for glass? Do I have some in here as well? I do. I was going to say, I thought I had a lot more glass than that. Oh, and paper. Three pieces of paper. Workstation is not empty. Come on. Come on, leg. Okay, here we go. Boom! Now, does this have a tier 3 upgrade? It does. What does that require? Uh, two beakers. <laughs> two beakers, yeah. Okay, well, the important thing at the moment is this. 
this is the important thing at the moment. Okay, thank goodness we finally got that back to where we can make gas. Okay, it does not look like though we can make we can make gunpowder, we can make herbal antibiotics, but we can't make the big antibiotics, which I know how to, but I just don't, you know, we didn't need to worry about that Ugh, previously. So that's still something we need to work towards, but I don't think upgrading this to tier three is our next highest priority. I think our, excuse me, our next highest priority is probably gonna be to get the workbench upgraded. Um, and I still have all those mats in the, um, you know, sitting in the thing that will allow us to make the schematic for the nail gun, because that's the only thing holding us up for that. All right, let me put a couple things in here for recycling. How much can we sell that for? Yeah, nah, yeah I guess that's probably worth selling. Uh, we want to recycle that. Those, those, those. Not the well. Actually, no. That that's where we're gonna get the research, more research data. So yeah, so we do want to recycle those. Uh, we don't want to recycle gears because those are kind of a pain in the butt to make. And I think that's all. Yeah, put those in there. I think that's all we want to recycle. Good. Um, oh, actually, no. Maybe our next priority should be upgrading this so I can repair my thing again. Uh, we might be able to do this, actually. Here, let's pin this. Okay. I'm going to put all of those in there. Here, let me, here, guys, let me just put stuff away. I'll be right back. Okay, let's get some concrete going here. 622. Fantastic. And I think all of the rest of this stuff goes in the other room. What do we need to make the beehive? Recipe. Apiary. Uh, crafted in the carpenter's table. Okay, so we got that going. And yeah, the rest of the stuff we're going to keep with us for now. Let's wait till for this is done and then we can go set it up. And I think we have to feed this flowers. So we probably have, yeah, we got a ton of chrysanthemums. So we'll take some flowers with us for that. Very cool. I'm, I'm so glad he added that stuff uh, to the update. It's just, I mean, not even so much because it'll make it easier to get eggs and honey, but just because it's neat, you know? It just adds more flavor to the overall game. You know, I I love Ravenhurst, and I love Darkness Falls, and I love War As UK. Those are good mods, too. Really appreciate everything that the mod authors have done on those, but I have to say this is my favorite mod. Um, and one of the reasons for it is it just enhances the game significantly, you know, from, from the default, you know, vanilla game. Um, okay, let's put that there. And there we go. Okay, so the bees and the chickens are working working hard for us. Search chicken coop. Look at that, four eggs already. Thanks, chickens. Oh, okay, so after we harvest the eggs, then we have to re... Oh, okay. So I'm going to need to put a chest up here with flowers and seeds in it. Um, I'm not going to do that right this moment, though, just because we don't actually need any more eggs. we got so many eggs. And we've got 74... And we got 80 eggs now in total. All right, put that in there. This is the dried goods chest. Beverage. Um, actually, let's throw these back. We're thirsty. Oh, nice. We got a honey, too. So that we will save for infections. Put all the containers in there. Nope, not 
not that way. This way. We want to put you in there. Okay, so what I want to do is I want to grab all the research data that I currently have. In fact, here, let's just grab all of this stuff. Okay, good. So we have enough research data. We don't have enough books to upgrade the maintenance station. Um, okay, so... Oh, we can make books, can't we? I don't know if I've ever actually done that, but I think we can make books in here. Is it in here or is it somewhere else? Yeah, we can, um, but it's going to take research data. We need, we would need, we need to make six more books. So that's going to take 30 research data, which we can afford to do and still have enough to do this upgrade. Yeah, let's do that. Because otherwise our other option is that we got to go out and loot more books. Not that that's... It's not hard to do that, it's just time consuming. Okay, so let's just grab a stack of paper there. I'll probably end up putting the chicken coop and the beehive on the other end of the roof for their permanent location. Just because that's a little annoying. To listen to it over and over and over okay so let's make six books and then we'll have that so i a superior repair kit oh shit do i have one of those i think we have a hundred steel plating but well, that's super expensive too we don't have a hundred steel plating okay do i have steel ingots we can make more um so we need 16, so we need 32 iron ingots to make 16 steel ingots. Uh, we do that over here. Okay, so that'll take care of the plating. Now, do I have... A repair kit. I've got an advanced repair kit. What does that say? A superior repair kit. All right, this is all new. Repair. Advanced repair kit is a tier two. A superior repair kit we don't know how to make. That's just a repair kit that's advanced. Okay, How? what does it require? Are you kidding me? I have to consume an impact driver for that? Oh my goodness. Really? <laughs> wow. This is not easy, you guys. This is absolutely not easy. Shit. I mean, I have one spare impact driver because we need that to upgrade this to tier three, right? Do we still? Yes, we do. Um, okay, so I guess the question is, is it more important to upgrade this first or this first? And probably this, because we can't repair some of our high-end weapons at present. So, uh, I wonder if the traders sell these. They probably do. But again, I wasn't looking for it because I didn't realize I was going to need it. Okay, so I got to thinking about this. Um... I think we're just going to make this superior repair kit, consume our extra impact driver, and we'll have to come across another one to get this guy upgraded. Because I think this is more important at the moment. One thing I definitely want to do, however, is I want to make sure that I don't consume this impact driver because this one's better than the one that I'm hanging on to which I believe I have back over here in here. Okay, so let's grab that impact driver. And now we can make the advanced repair kit. We have to... We have to craft... Oh, no. Yeah, right. That's the blueprint to make it shit then we still have to make it <laughs> nothing's ever easy 
Okay. Repair. Superior repair kit. Oh, right. We're out of range of those. So I need 10 titanium plates and 20 oil. Okay. Let's research this. Take us a minute, and then we'll see what it takes to actually make the kit itself. Hopefully we can make one. Okay. Now... You know what? Something else just occurred to me. I wonder if we need the more advanced workbench to make that repair kit. Workbench tier 3. Look at that! You can't win, you guys! <laughs> can't fucking win! Okay, so... Shit. We gotta get this to tier 3 in order to make this, in order to then upgrade this. I also burned 10 more of my books to make this so that's fun um oh and research data too so we didn't we don't even have enough research data to do this okay well then we are pretty much at a stopping point until we get more research data story of our lives in this mod huh story of our lives i'm not complaining even though it sounds like it i love this mod it's my favorite mod but it's just nothing's ever easy that's all i got to say about it okay uh, nothing's ever easy. Alright, so let's put the those in there. Um, I'm going to put the military fiber in here in particular because that's expensive. The rest of the stuff's not that big of a deal, really. Um, but, yeah, we could put the adhesive in there. Well, no, I'm not going to do that because we might need that stuff for other things in the, in the interim. So, I'm just going to put all this back in here for now. And this should, we, we needed a hundred, uh, I guess I made a few more, uh, of these too, but we got, we're going to have to go back to upgrading this first, unless I can find one of those kits at the trader and buy it. So, all right, well, we'll figure it out. <laughs> It'll get done one way or the other. Um... So that is it, guys, for this episode. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video. And in the next episode, we will probably just keep doing what we're doing. Um, it's nighttime now, so we still have a lot more work to do in the armory, getting stuff moved over, and then going out and about and either trying to find, you know, see if we can buy one of those repair kits from one of the traders or impact driver. Can I make an impact driver? Did I learn the thingy for that? Impact. I have not. Uh, yeah, okay. We'll figure it out. Okay, see ya.